<laughs> now, now I understand, see, Nigerian government actually care for everybody in Nigeria. No matter who you are. God have mercy upon us. So, <laughs> and the watch one video, we are some custom officials, they talk, say, they give bandit seven bags of rice to save their life. <laughs> 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 Don't worry, I'm we are not working for only custom. We are working for the nation. <laughs> they say they seized about I'm sure that something uh, bags of rice. Bandits requested for seven bags. They give them to save their life. <laughs> we seized thirty seven bags of rice. They say okay, if we are to go, they have to take seven bags. We give them seven bags. What thing be this? What thing be what thing be this? What thing be this? The custom official talks say at some point the bandits became friendly, very friendly with them. <laughs> Last time we have encounter with them, to the extent that we are they are a little bit friendly with us. Hey! <laughs> Can we know our offense? Can I know my offense? Imagine being happy that bandits are now your friends. <laughs> <laughs> but person we carry laptop on a criminal. <laughs> this thing make me the thing say. If it be say federal government actually cares about the citizen, but they don't wash out. <laughs> because as it be me like this now, eh? waiting the hungry me and I go to go climb one skyscraper, they shout say, I need to see the president here now. <laughs> If the president did come here, I will jump. <laughs> <laughs> if the American or the president will come, talk say, Hello, my citizen. You have a whole life ahead of you. You don't have to jump. You might be the president of Nigeria tomorrow. Please calm down. <laughs> but try and now for Nigeria. <laughs> Two minutes everywhere go bust. <laughs> <laughs> now people go they look you say like this guy not smoking bro. <laughs> Police go come come go tell you say hey why you want jump? <laughs> Your constitution no says that that time you go not say Nigerian police is a bit speak English. <laughs> 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 they can't ask you <laughs> why you want jump. <laughs> you can't talk say, eh, there has been so much heat, eh? no light. I need to jump. <laughs> the police go ask you, how long? <laughs> how long they don't take light for your area? You go say, eh, for six months. <laughs> I'm going to jump. <laughs> if the president didn't come here, I go jump. <laughs> For six months, no light. <laughs> the police go tell you, see, go tell your colleague, Adamu, tell him how many years where they never bring light for your area. <laughs> <laughs> From Adamu response, you don't know, say, you don't they lose the case. <laughs> Adamu go talk, say, Oga, okay, Kai, for two years, they never bring light for my area. <laughs> police go ask you, you hear Ram? <laughs> Two years, you know, six months. Come, if you no job now, eh, you under arrest. <laughs> Are you jumping or not? <laughs> now you go come the bag for your life. Officer, wait, I want to come down. <laughs> no, they say, no, if you come down, eh, you spend the rest of your life in jail. <laughs> Mamma mia! <laughs>
mine is simply three. Number one is gratitude to Almighty God that made this facility possible. Two is gratitude to Prof. Very Reverend Father Ede for this wonderful work. I recall when you going to visit very often Madonna University as governor in Anambra State. And I think that is the only relationship I had with the university. In line with my policy that education is the most important investment any nation can do for its people. I partner with all private universities in Anambra State so one, consult road to the university. So it was my policy that since you have faculty of civil engineering, that I'll pay them money, they'll be the contractor to do the road. And I did that with Madonna University. And of course, the students bought them buses and everything. Insisted, you don't charge, government is supposed to support schools, excellency. This is a private university, people are supposed to support it. They are doing work of government. So you should not be coming to charge them uh, IGR. You should be giving them money. The deputy speaker. That's what government should be doing. Government should support private universities. The children are in these schools are our children. They are not for the children. And that's what I did. Every university that was in Anambra State, while I served as governor, I partnered with them, supported them, because these young people are our own. So we need, they need their support. And I'm sure you'll be able to convey to the governor a deputy speaker will take it to the president. Support private universities that are doing work of government. And since we can't do it, it is our job to partner with them. I did it with secondary schools, with primary schools that were in Alhambra State. As long as it's a school, I partner with them, irrespective of who owns it, because our children are the ones that are there. So I thank all of you. And let us continue to. Remember us. I'm not talking about all of us who are leaders, who are in government. Do remember us in prayers. And your prayer point will always be that God touch our hearts to use public money for public good. Thank you and God bless you.